Hi everybody, welcome to Pack a Tuesday. Our alpaca of the week is Rose, and here she is. Say hi, Rose. There we go. Rose is Riley's mom. Now, Riley is pretty much the exception to the rule because he is so friendly. He's what we would be consider socialized. Rose is pretty typical for an alpaca in that they don't like being touched and unless they trust you, they don't want you near them. They're, they're gonna run. They're a prey animal. So their number one protection against harm is to run. And they're gonna run from people too unless they really know you. Some things about Rose, I only got her last year she came with three other alpacas and three she's one of three that were adults and i was told had been field bred the year before field bred meaning she had been exposed to a male in the pasture for a certain amount of time and i think it was two months that she was exposed so there's this really big question mark about if she got pregnant and when she got pregnant. Um, actually, that was the big question for all three of them. And I knew that when they arrived and it was possible that they could be really close to delivery. Um, they took a 600 mile trip mid-May of last year. And they came and were introduced to a whole new herd of alpacas that they never knew. A week later was the annual shearing. So pretty traumatic, I'd say stressful experience to travel 600 miles, meet a bunch of new animals that you never knew before, and then have yourself restrained so you could be sheared down. <laughs> pretty traumatizing. Um, and then two weeks later is when she had Riley. Trying to make sure she stays in frame here for you. I have a place in town next to my house that I have for birthing and for alpacas that need special attention for some reason. And at the time, one of my alpacas, Joy, had an eye infection. So she was already near my house um, so I could give her ointment multiple times a day. Well, after sharing, I took Rose back to town with me too um, because she, of the three, was the only one that showed any signs that she could possibly be pregnant and delivering. And if I remember right, it was because she was more round than the others. Um, from the time she arrived to, um, well, I guess it would have been a week's time. She, her belly really, really grew a lot within a week's time. And I was like, okay, well, we're taking her into town with me just in case. No harm. She doesn't deliver. Um, but the other two that were with her, I've got a follower. The other two that were with her, gotta keep with her. Okay, the other two that were with her didn't really show any difference in their body, so I wasn't really convinced that anything was going on. Oh, here's Riley from last week. Here with Mama. Hi, Riley. Okay. I almost missed Riley's birth. It happened on a Monday morning of a weekend that I was supposed to be gone. There was a family event in Oklahoma that I was supposed to be at. Now I already said I was gonna go, but then this whole thing, sorry, try to avoid one of them. This whole thing with Joy's eye, I decided to stay. Well, here we go. Well, and I'm really glad that I did stay because Riley was born on Monday morning. And after everything that Rose had been through, you know, she'd only known me for three weeks at that time. She let me do whatever I needed to do to Riley. She let me be up close to him and do what needed to be done for a newborn. 
and she just stood over him. She guarded him like a good mama did, does. Um, but she wasn't overprotective and kept me from doing what I needed to do. So even though she only knew me for three weeks, she knew I was trustworthy and she let me do what I needed to do. You might be looking at Rose and wonder, how could Riley come from her? Because they look so different. Riley's color is a light fawn. And I'll actually know more about that this year when I shear him. Uh, Crea coat is often different than what they'll eventually end up being. But Rose here is a rose gray. Let's see if I can get her my shadows on there so I'm trying to get out of the way of that but a gray color comes from black and white a rose gray is black white and brown and here on the body of her fleece there it is the mixture of those three colors and it's actually really pretty sometimes a rose gray is gonna have like a purple hue to it and she does have that in parts of her fleece I don't know how well the color is coming off but it's more than a gray it's a rose gray but she's so pretty because she has these other colors like her white face and let's see if I can get them her white feet <laughs> Her and one other that came from Illinois are the only grays that I have. And I think they are so pretty and I'm definitely interested in breeding her again and seeing what I can get. Okay, well that's it for this edition of Pack a Tuesday. See, Rose, well, she's just obsessed with eating right now, which is pretty much Rose. That's all she thinks about. All right, there you go. That's about all the goodbye you're gonna get. That little glimpse. <laughs> all right, so here's me checking out on this windy day. Bye.